Good morning and welcome back to the channel. I am hopefully working on getting my volume to a good spot. Um, Y'all are going to have to let me know how it is. I'm still putting it through an editing program and raising the volume even further. It's on 100% through OBS, but I feel like it's still really quiet. So, I don't know. Um, hi. So, anyway, I wanted to show you guys this. Uh, I made this on live stream last night um, on Patreon. And it's really cool. Um, it took me like an hour hour and 20 minutes to make from, you know, from scratch, just from start to finish. And what's really cool about it is it's a no sew journal and there's like over a hundred pages in here, but I made this specifically for a purpose. Um, cause I needed something on my desk. Uh, I needed another journal because you know, well, we're journalers. We always have journals for everything. Anyway, um, so I made this and it's really, really cool. Um, like I said, it's over a hundred pages and I just wanted to show you guys. Isn't it cool? It's so cute. So I'm still having to get used to looking at what you guys see and you guys. And then of course down here so I can, you know, pay attention to what's going on. So anyway, today is going to be something a little bit different. Today, I'm going to do another new series. <laughs> Surprise. So we're going to do something that is called Trash to Treasure. So we are always looking for new items that we can create new, really pretty things with. So I figured we all play with junk journals. Um, well, some of us play with junk journals and a lot of us like to reuse and recycle and things like that. So we're going to play with trash. <laughs> so I got this in the mail. It's just an, it's an envelope um, from Amazon. It's, I mean, it's got my address on it. I don't really care. That's shown. So what I did is I just, I cut it down. So it's even, um, I'm going to have to zoom out just a little bit because you guys are zoomed way far in. Um, but I had cut it down to make it even. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a folder because, well, um, I started cutting stuff out for my glue book and then realized I didn't have a place to put anything. So <laughs> I figured I would make something because, you know, that's kind of what I do. I don't have it, so I make it. Um, and this is just, this is actually an old sheet that was really stained up. So I didn't use it anymore. Y'all need to zoom out some more. I'm going to move the camera uh, in just a little bit. There we go. And I should be able to get everything because it's pretty big. That's the problem with this right now is it's really big. But, um, so anyway, I plan on doing a kind of like a folder, like an ephemera folder, but different. But the first thing I want to do is cut it all down even. And I already did that. And then I realized, oh, this will be perfect for my trash to treasure segment thing. I don't know how far we're going to get into it, but I definitely want to finish this up uh, because I think it'd be really, really cool. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, it might be a little longer than 20 minutes. Um, and this is really sticky. This is Tyvek tape. So instead of, you know, using, hello, sorry about that. Instead of using, um, yeah, I know you guys are probably yelling at me cause that was really loud, but instead of using like the priority or, uh, USPS or anything like that, because not everybody gets the Tyvek in the mail. Like I don't, I order a lot of things online and I almost never get the Tyvek in the mail. So I just bought the Tyvek tape instead. Um, so, cause I don't like using like the priority stuff if it's not recycled. 
Okay, mute. Let me mute you guys. Okay. <laughs> I should have thought about that the first time I did that. So I'm just sealing that little fold right there. Because, I mean, it is a bubble envelope. It's not like it's the most secure thing in the world. So I am going to move a whole bunch of stuff out of the way because we are fixing to get messy. Um, I should probably put my gloves on, but we're not painting, so it's okay. <laughs> uh, as soon as I start painting, though, that's when it gets real messy. I end up painting my hands. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I think I glued my lid on. <sighs> Got it. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was crazy. All right, so this is just Mod Podge. Uh, nothing special or anything like that. It's just simple Mod Podge. So whenever I put my fabric onto whatever it is I'm doing, I'll use Mod Podge. My final coat, my sealant, if you will, I don't use Mod Podge. Uh, I use something else. And we'll go over that. Um, but as of right now, I'm just going to smear the crud out of this thing. Um, and if you want, you can put paper down. Even though my desk is covered in paper, you can still put paper down so you don't, you know, if you don't already have paper on your desk you can this is just packing paper we move a lot and every time we move I save just a little bit of the packing paper uh, I still have a couple sheets left from when we moved here it was kind of funny because my daughter Haven she made an advent calendar and she wanted to wrap it because she used well she used a box she used a uh an Amazon box. So I was really proud of her for recycling. That was pretty awesome. Um, but anyway, she used uh, an Amazon box. And so it was like, you know, all of this. So she wanted to cover it up. And she's like, do you have any paper? I'm like, really? She's like, okay, can I have some paper? It's like, yes, you can have some paper. So I gave her um, a few of Actually, I gave her all of the packing paper and she just gave me back what she didn't use. All right, so we're going to take our cloth here. And like I said, this is just, um, it's nothing fancy. It's literally just an old sheet that I tore up. Um, it was on its way to either Goodwill or whatever because, you know, it was all stained up and whatnot. So I figured I would keep it and put it in my craft room. And so that's exactly what I did. So now I'm going to go and do the other side over here. I'm going to pull this up just a little bit. And bloop. Now this is pretty easy and this is pretty standard. It's any wrapping that you do for a journal. I just happen to be picking fabric because I want to paint it. Um, Cause I like painting stuff and by stuff, I mean my hands, uh, <laughs> but no, I just, I didn't really know what I wanted to do with it. I just knew that I needed to cover all this up and I figured the easiest way to do that um, would be to cover it in fabric and then paint the fabric. Because if I paint this, it may not go, it may not go over everything. And the fabric will cover the Tyvek tape. Because Tyvek tape is, uh, it, it's shiny and whatnot. So it's a little tricky to try to cover. Um, but if you cover it with fabric, you're covering it around all the sides. So I didn't go all the way to the edge with the Tyvek tape, like down here on either side. So, and if you want to add a little bit more texture, I mean, a bubble envelope is pretty textured, but if you want to add more texture, just make your, your fabric kind of like bump, bumpy and whatnot. I'm smoothing it out 
there as well. That's just what I'm doing. Uh, but like this part where the label is, that's a little bumpy. There's not much I can do about that. So I'm going to flip this over. We're going to find my scissors. Oh, and I moved my mic down as well. So my mic is like right beside me. Um, I would take my camera down, but my camera has kind of mounted into my bookshelf. It's kind of weird or not my bookshelf, but my, my shelving unit that's above my desk. Anyway, um, <clears throat> but my camera or my camera, my microphone is like maybe 10 inches from my face. <coughs> Ow. I think I swallowed wrong. Have you guys ever done that? Like you're just moseying along and all of a sudden you swallow wrong and you're like, ah, I'm dying. But then again, it's also um, a lot to do with the fact that I quit smoking. So my lungs are starting to clear out. So uh, I still have a slight cough because I've always had it like a smoker's cough. Uh, but now it's actually getting worse before it gets better. Ever heard that? Got to get worse before it gets better. That is so true with so many things. All right. I'm just going to put some Mod Podge down all up in the bubbles. Blip, blip. And I've never done this before, so I have no idea if it's going to work. But then again, that's kind of what I do with a lot of things. I'm like, oh, I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to do it anyway. Oh, and I have a trash can right beside me, too. That's what I keep doing. Putting stuff in the trash. Boop. All right. Then, oi. I'm going to do this side. All right. Ew. All right. Sorry, my glasses were falling down and going boom. Can you see? Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure y'all can see because I know this is kind of a big project. So I want to make sure that y'all are seeing everything I'm doing. Okay. I'm going to have to lay Mod Podge on top of this as well. So it can soak through. I didn't really need to do it on the other side, but I guess I didn't put enough glue on the bottom of this. But that's okay, because I'm still going to cover this again. There's a lot that goes into this kind of cover. Um, it's very, uh, what's the word? Step oriented, I guess. I don't know. I have glue all over my fingers. Surprise. Well, I mean, I do have a paintbrush in my hand, so it's only only fitting that whatever is on the paintbrush is on my hands. I'm going to go ahead and do the top of this. All right. And, and then, like a little fuzz hair thingy. I mean, it doesn't really matter because it's, I mean, it's mine. I don't have to be quite so meticulous as I would be if I'm selling it. I'm not. It's kind of funny because a lot of the things that I've made, I've made lately, <laughs> I haven't been selling. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, I'm actually working on a bunch of Christmas cards that I'm also not selling. Now I'll sell the extras that happen to be once I'm done because we're doing a, um, a Christmas card swap in Missy's Facebook group. And I was just like, oh, that'll be fun. 
So, um, I actually thought about, hey, if you guys want a Christmas card from me, send me your address if I don't already have it. Um, or you could just, you know, send me an email and be like, can I have a Christmas card? Or, you know, whatever, because I'm making a whole bunch of them right now. Like, I really don't mind because I don't know necessarily who all of my subscribers are. I know who some of them are, you know, because they're commenting all the time or whatever. But there's some of them that just kind of sit back in the shadows and I'm going to put glue all over my mic. That's a good idea. Anyway, um, I know that there's there's some quiet observers and that's OK. I like my quiet observers. Uh, but yeah, if you guys want a Christmas card from me, um, just shoot me an email with your address and I would be more than happy to send you guys a Christmas card. Absolutely. I think it'll be really fun. I'm pretty excited because I'm making like a whole bunch of Christmas cards. Um, that was actually why I wanted that little um, desktop journal because I wanted to um, draw up some layouts for cards so I can kind of use not the same layout every single time. Um, so hopefully it'll give me a little bit of diversity with my cards. But that's why I wanted the, the little desktop journal so I could make, um, so I could draw up card layouts. All right, so after this is dried, you don't want to do it beforehand, but after this is dried, you can go through and sew the entire outside. You definitely don't want to put this in your sewing machine right now because it'll gunk up your sewing machine. That would be very bad. So what is my time at? 17 minutes. Look at that. All right, so let's figure out what we're going to put on this inside real quick. Okay. This is why I end up gluing it because I end up with glue all over the place. Eh. Okay. Um, so I don't really have a plan as far as the inside goes. I just knew that I wanted to do the outside and I haven't covered this. There's really no reason for me to cover it because I'm going to paint it. We could do that. I'd have to put some parchment paper down there. Um, there's that one because it'll stick to this paper or I could just use this paper. Oh, shoot. The dilemma, the dilemma, the dilemma. What are, what are you? Oh, I don't know what you are. Do napkins? Napkins is not going to work. Mm. I was thinking about napkins, but then I was just like, no, it's not going to work, but it might. Hmm. Give me that. All right, let's see what we can figure out with this piece here. Because the outside we're going to take our tape, we're going to paint. So, um, like here's a napkin here. Um, and if we do like this, it doesn't cover the whole thing. But if we split it down the middle, we can put something else there and we can put this on the side. All right, let's try that. All right, so we're just gonna cut this right down the middle. I'm gonna cut it before I remove the backing because it does make it a little easier to cut. Uh, I mean, it's not a whole lot easier, but it is a little easier. All right, so I'm gonna grab a piece of tape. Stay. And I don't know if I'm gonna need the tape actually. Yeah, I think there's two codes to this. Yeah, there is. Okay. There's another one. I see it. 
course, I don't know if it's going to work with all this glue on my fingers. Goodness gracious me. All right. So there's that one. Um, oh, I, what am I doing? I can use this to go there and then I can put that napkin on. What? I'm smart. Okay. This one is actually pretty perfect. It just came off. All right. So let's save this real quick. Hold that. We're going to put these down first and kind of cover up some of this um, orange, orangey orange. And we could also put the paper down. I didn't think about that. All right. Orangey orange, We're covering up the orangey orange. But I love that sound and you're going to maintain that texture even though you're covering it up which I think is really cool. And I'm kind of pouncing it to get it in between the holes of the bubbles. So I want to put you there and we need to click off of that. And Oh. And y'all will have to let me know what you think of this little series or mini series or whatever you want to call it. I think it's pretty cool. I love like making stuff like this though. Just reusing, recycling. The whole nine. All right, so I'm putting a lot of glue on this, but that's okay because by the time I'm done with this, we're gonna be at our time or a little above it right now, or a little beyond our time. That's okay. Um, and that was my phone because I did not put it on airplane mode. I'm not real sure who that was. And if that's you calling, whoever you are, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm recording right now. You're going to have to wait. All right. So. Oops. Okay, hold that, and with that, mm -mm. this way, or this way, which way was that? I don't remember, hold that, did I do it this way? No, because that's not enough, you have to do it this way. not going to put anything on top of this. I'm going to let this, uh, cause I put a lot of Mod Podge underneath it and I'm going to let this dry before I put anything else on top of it. Because if you put too much wet on your napkins, you're going to break your napkins. And my point isn't to break my napkins. So I'm going to let this be. And once this dries, then I'm going to put the sealant on it and we'll do that in another video. But we'll continue this project um, together. It might take a while to get it done because we're only doing, you know, 20 minutes at a time. That's okay. Or 20-ish minutes at a time. And so all of this was done with one single napkin. It is a three-ply, so I was able to use the... Um, two of the backings, but you can use tissue paper or um, whatever, really. Mm -hmm. oh, right here. Okay. All 
Mm -hmm. Put a little bit more right here because we're going to put, because see, like I said, we are wetting this very heavily. And the more we wet it, the more we're going to uh, potentially damage the napkin. So you want to make sure that you don't wet that top coat. And it's okay if we don't go all the way to the edge because we're going to put something right there anyway. And then we have one more actually, but I don't think we're going to need that one extra one. Now we're just going to put that there. There we go. Uh, this is still kind of orangey over here, so I'm going to use this one right here. And again, it's okay if it's all wrinkly because, well, we're using this particular um, middle part because of the texture the bubbles and the crinkles and the folds and this, that, and other. Like that's why I picked it because it was just really cool. So we're gonna take our other napkin and make sure that the butterflies go out, the plants go out. We're gonna push it out. And then we're just gonna pat it down. And then once this is dry, we can seal it. It would help if I've got some Mod Podge all across it. Okay. All right. There we go. I'm just going to double check the edges over here. They look good. And there we go. So that is going to be it for today um, for this episode of Trash to Treasure. We will continue this. This will be a journal. Well, it's not going to be a journal exactly. It's going to be it's going to be a kind of like an ephemera folder, but different because I want to um, uh, have a place to put my my cut aparts that I'm cutting out of magazines and books and such like that. I have glue everywhere. <laughs> oh my gosh. So anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for joining me in this episode of Trash to Treasure. We are making an ephemera folder with the twist, of course. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.